Looking forward to this one. Absolutely. Been looking forward to this one. Pete Shoemaker trains under Rob Shire at Precision Jiu Jitsu out in the King of Prussia. Daniel Tavares, part of SAS team. I believe he is the leader of SAS team, head instructor. Again, Pete Schumacher, brown belt. Daniel Tavares, uh, black belt. Competed both these guys. Very, very decorated. Daniel Tavares, the SAS team. Daniel Tavares has been in this game a long time. That doesn't mean he's old. That just means the dude's been training a long time. And this is a perfect format for these guys to showcase their skills. Oh, this is going to be exciting. This whole this whole tournament, this division is just, uh, it, it's outstanding. All right, fighting out of the red corner, we have Pete Shoemaker fighting out of the precision jiu-jitsu. And fighting out of the blue corner, we have Daniel Tavares of the SASP. Daniel Tavares, Pete Shoemaker. Let's see. Let's see who's the aggressor. Very nice leg drag. Her arm drag, right to the leg drag. Shoemaker right on a single leg, man. Pushing Tavares right in front of this man into the ropes. Tavares got to let go of the ropes there. Looking for a tree top single leg. Very nice by Schumacher, man. Very beautiful. He had that leg. He was not letting go of it. Caught a tree top single, man. He just raises that leg up until you can't have balance anymore. That's the beauty of this format. Oh. Having, the, having the corners and the ropes to actually yeah. push into. Beautiful. All right. Now let's see. Let's see how aggressive Tavares is. If he's looking to sweep or is he looking to end it from there? Shoemaker is going to have to be very careful here, posturing up and looking to pass. Tavares explodes on submissions from the bottom. Already looking to sweep with that underhook. Look for him to. There we go. Shoemaker does a good job getting. Get that underhook out of there. Let's see if he goes to the posture here and pass. What Shoemaker's going to have to do here is he's got to be just as defensive as he is his offensive from this position. Keeps looking for that underhook to sweep. Tavares keeps going with his right arm under that leg. Looking for a pendulum sweep now. Shoemaker's looking to, looking to create some some space and he, and he doesn't really want to posture up and I imagine it's because he's, he's scared of the arm lock or scared of the triangle seems to be controlling the hips pretty well very well that's what he needs to do he needs to create space without posturing up so he's going to look to move his hips backwards to try to break that guard over Tavares has got a, had a body triangle just there great job by Shoemaker They're coming out aggressive with that yeah. takedown and not stop until he had it now he's looking to push down this is where he's got to be careful with that, letting his wrist uh, be controlled like that. Tavares has, uh, has the one arm, arm hooked. Not, not like he's going for an arm lock, though, but like he's trying to trap it to sweep. Shoemaker pulls his arm out of there. Got a posture, posture out of there. Pushes down one leg, and he's looking, he's got to push that knee down so he can get to that half guard. Tavares looks to sweep right off of it. Oh, Tavares throws the leg up for the triangle. There's not much time left, not much time left. He's got to push that arm. He's got to get his legs, he's got to get his legs locked. He's basically looking for a neck crank here until he adjusts his legs. Very nice job adjusting legs. Shoemaker break. Postures up, he's out. Drops right for it. Drops right for an ankle lock. Tavares is in okay shape. Man, they're falling out of the ring. These guys are aggressive. Yes, they are. Time. Man. Great round. That's what that I expected. Great round. This is two guys that want to get to that final very, very bad. Very bad. Again, two great competitors. Uh, Shoemaker again, brown belt. Tavares, a black belt. Like we were saying earlier, once you take the gi off, it does change a lot. You know, the, the wrestling can really come out and, and, and things like that. 
where it kind of evens out the playing field. But man, Shoemaker wanted that single and he was not stopping. And again, with the ring, you could push him right into the ropes, right into the corner. Yeah, and actually working the corner, you get some stability to work a takedown. There's a lot of give on the floor here, so if they decide to slam each other, they're just going to hit the ground running. <laughs> All right, round two, about to get underway. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. Let's see who's coming out aggressive this time. <laughs> Let's see if Shoemaker goes right back after that takedown. And now, of course, Tavares is expecting it, so look for his defense to be a little tighter. And he got that last single off of an arm drag. So both, both matches started right off of an arm drag. Again, he's attempting that arm drag. There you go, that shoulder pressure yeah, against that so he jumps. He jumped for that guillotine before he had the arm. I wish he would have waited till the arm was around the head before he jumped it. Now we get to see um, his groundwork, his guard now, work. Now we get the opposite. Now let's see Pete's guard, Tavares' top game. Here. Again, a lot different from, from Jiu Jitsu with the Gi because they're, you, you know you can't grab, the, you know you have nothing to grip to. Um, Pete riding with a nice high guard there. Tavares posturing up. Looking to pass, tying up both. Now he's going to look to put pressure here. He's going to look to actually open his legs by just putting so much pressure on him coming forward. Pete looks like he's aware of that and already started kind of wiggling his legs up a bit. Both guys adjusting well. Yeah. Pretty evenly matched, man. Very evenly matched. Good posture by Tavares. Pete's being really aggressive trying to get a higher guard here. Like he really wants to try to, to, to throw up a uh, triangle here. Going to turn almost like for an omoplata or get him to push down on his leg to drop the triangle. There goes omoplata. Nice. Tavares defends perfectly, steps over top. But now Pete ends up in almost a Peterson position, but he's got to watch. He's got to watch because it doesn't have to be under the neck here. It can be a neck crank. And Tavares is really pushing to get to that back position or a crucifix position. He turns in, he ends up on top. Ah, oh, they're falling out of the ring. Oh, he's tightening it up, man. He's trying to pull it back in. He's tightening up the triangle as he's working. Crowd's getting kind of restless, man. This is exciting, though. He's got, he's got Shoemaker in a triangle. I don't know how to tell you this. Pete's doing a really good job of keeping his body on an angle where he's keeping the left side of his neck open. He's, he's stopping that choke from happening on the left side. Tavares is really hanging here on the neck. It's only 10 seconds left in the round. Out of the triangle. Very good day. Trying to drop on an ankle, but just way too, way too low on it. Man, don't leave this one to the judges. These guys better try to finish, because that's about as even as you're gonna get. Can you hear me? Now I got you. Yeah, they're yelling. Why, why did he move him? Aren't you allowed to move him? I mean, you, what can you he... are? But as he was trying to move him, Tavares was uh, was locking up the triangle as they were moving, and should have just kind of waited. You know what I mean? That that's why they were yelling. He was adjusting the triangle when he was supposed to be in a pause position. Man, these two. This is. What, I've been anticipating these matchups for a while, knowing that they were going to be just like this. This is what everybody came for. More, more than the belt, more than these guys want to beat each other. There are some big name guys in this tournament, and they are dying to go against each other. The matchmakers did a great job. Really good. It is, it is loud in here this time. It is loud. Right back out to the middle. Let's see. Like I said, I would not leave. Either of these guys, I would not leave this to the judges. I would really go for the finish in this round. Not that they weren't going for Beautiful arm drag. Again, he gets stuck this time. He's stuck in half guard. He's got his arm under hook, too, so he's in a good half guard position, able to push away. Looks like he's trying to push him away. Go for a knee bar. He gets that leg across. He's looking to step over. 
Tavares got the legs locked. He's got his legs figure for it, so he pretty much ruled out that submission. So Good now defense. he's going to get to that top to position. Oh, these guys' sub de submission defense has been outstanding. All right, so he's going to try to break that lock. Pete's got, Pete's got almost a rear naked choke grip on his leg, and Tavares has a figure four around that. Pete's arms might be stuck right now. They might actually be stuck under there. So Tavares is trying to push the arm through. Maybe for a uh, maybe for a dart shoot. Okay, now Pete's arms are free. He's, he's in a very awkward half guard though. If you're a wrestler, almost in like a Merkel position, he's still trying to roll through for that knee bar. Tavares is aware of it though, and he's keeping that leg tucked all the way under his body. But he's gonna give up this top position, man. He's gonna give up this top position again. Tavares underhooking. He's going for that Darsh choke. He's, he's got that arm across. He's got that arm across. He's got to get his right arm up a little higher. And he's putting Pete Shoemaker in a very uncomfortable position right now because of how his leg is merkled in with his other leg. Man, Shoemaker is doing a very good job defending. He's trying to get his legs free right now, which is what he really needs to do. Uh, he, he's really trying to lock up. Tavares really trying to lock up. He lets go of it now. His arms have to be exhausted right now. I would not want to be a judge for this one. Very good. So Pete gets his leg untangled. Now he's in a crucifix position. Tavares on top, and they want Tavares to finish bad. Tavares is stepping over for an arm. I can't see if it's a Kimura. All right, he let go. He's got good control right now. Steps over that mount position. Pete right to half guard. Tavares really wants to try to finish this. Trying to go for a modified guillotine here. Pete underneath, trying to get better position, trying to sweep, and he gets out. He gets out. They're back on their feet. These guys are relentless. Relentless. Gets the takedown. Tavares, he's dropping for an ankle. Drops for an ankle, but he might be running out of time here. Tavares, good job defending. And unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was a great match. Everybody's standing. All right, let's see. And this is just the beginning. Tavares takes it. Not surprised there. Very aggressive. He needs to go rest. That was a very intense, emotionally draining match. He needs to go rest and get ready for his match with Padilla. Wow, that was that was unbelievable match. We got uh, Joe Selecki, who is. PGL1 open weight champion.